All right, here we are on the on the blue two-year-old colt. This colt's got seven or eighty rides at this point, uh, at the point of this video. By the time this video comes out, he'll probably be home. But this is a you know just green two-year-old colt. Uh, he's ranch raised, never been off the off the place he was he was born and raised, except for coming to the barn where he's at now with me. Um, so I decided it was time to take him to town, get him a little exposure. So I, I took him to the sale barn, helped them guys out in the afternoon. And, uh, you know, a sale barn can be a great place or a really tough place because they get to see a lot of stuff. There's a lot of noise. There's a lot of racket. There's a lot of stuff going on, but there can also be a lot of wrecks. Uh, so you need to darn sure be confident in your horse. But this is, this is... It's not like I loped him around 50 miles or he was scared and crazy and then at the end I said, okay, he's finally tired. Take, you know, you can see he doesn't even have any sweat on his neck. Uh, this is, I don't know, it's been only five, six minutes when the camera showed up. So this is just how he, he just rolled right into it. Just went, oh, okay, this is what we do. And what wasn't scared of anything, uh, none of it bothered him the, the whole day. And I only rode him for about two hours. I brought several several young horses down and they were all like this um, and the, the what I'm pointing out here is that I don't do a whole lot of exposure 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 uh, I've loped these colts around in the in the arena I rode them out on the desert a few times by themselves and that's kind of my deal but not a lot of flagging not a lot of uh, stuff and and this, for me, it works every time. I can lope them around for a month or so and two months and then take them to the sale barn and do a job on them. And it's all about the horse being confident in itself, being confident in me that I'm not going to get it in a spot where it shouldn't be, confident in me that, that I'm the one with the answers, and being confident in those, all the cues, you know, from my, from my legs, from my seat, all the signals from my legs and my seat and uh, my bit, you know, all the signals from all the aids that those, these young horses are, are confident what that means and how they need to behave, you know, how they need to react to that. Um, and that's, that's how you keep them from getting scared, you know. There would be a lot of scary stuff going on, but they're confident that this means trot forward. And so I'm going to trot forward. Um, the scared is when they don't know what they're supposed to do. This colt knows what he's supposed to do. You can put him anywhere and he'll do it. And I think I kind of prove it on this day. So, like I'm always saying, just get him broke and it'll work. All, all this stuff, you don't need a, you don't need a whole bunch of circus and hoorah and marching band and things like that. To make them, and it helps. This is a, a nice gentle cold out of a out of a good-minded mare. I mean, it's it's not all nurture. A lot of it's nature. Um, there's some that there's some that no matter how much I loped them around and made them confident at home, and no matter how much marching bands and hoorah you added to, you you wouldn't really have anything as good-minded as this. But it's because this is a good-minded colt, and a lot of them are bad-minded. But on these better-minded colts, that's this is the result I get time and time again, and so I, I, I keep trusting the program. That get them broke, get them confident in, in the maneuvers, and get them confident in, in me, and get them confident in yourself. And then you can walk into a, a wreck on wheels like a sail barn is and uh, get away with it. Really, this colt had fun too. It seemed like watching this video, he's real bright. Looks like he's having a good time. But riding him, it seemed like he was too. Oh, he decided I'm gonna leave somewhere. That's okay. He's two. But I'll I'll point out kind of a secret here, and you guys can you guys can figure out the riddle. Notice all I'm doing is my job.
this is a training ride in my mind, but I'm just doing my job. So think that one over. But for you folks that get to have an opportunity where you can go, go do things like this, it doesn't have to be the sail barn. And unless you're, unless you're pretty experienced hand, I don't suggest the sail barn because the rest of the yahoos at a sail barn will get you hurt, get you in a wreck. But for those of you that have chances to do things like this and get the horse out of the arena and, or out of the, the same trail you ride every day, trot down the road or whatever. This is this is what your prerequisite. This is what you gotta ask yourself. Is my horse confident in all the maneuvers that I'm gonna have to ask him to do? And is my horse confident in himself and the way he moves? And is, is he confident in me that, that I've always got the right answer? Um, that's all the more, that's all the more I ever ask myself before I go to do something. Those darn dairy cows, they don't even act like cows. Earlier in the, earlier in the day, one of those big old soggy son of guns marched right up to old Blue and just licked him right in the eyeball. And he didn't get too offended about that either. That's the day at the sale barn. Just get him confident, and then when you get there, just do your job. Leave him alone. Thank you.